looking into 2018 has been going on for 30 years now. And that's the growing inequality in the distribution of income and wealth. There is no end to it. And this has been going on across the board. North America, Western Europe, China, India. The only thing these countries have basically in common is the world capitalist economic system of which they are all an enthusiastic part these days. And it's the capitalist system that is producing and sustaining this rising inequality. It is a very serious thing. The more you concentrate wealth in the hands of a few, the less the purchasing power of the many. So the few have all this wealth, but they don't invest it in producing goods and services because the mass of people can't afford to buy it. And eventually, it blows societies up. We have leadership in the world that has been bought and paid for by the people at the top with the wealth, which is why nothing is being done to undo it. Having said that, I want to point out that Europe is in a different place. Europe has lost an entire decade. The European economy collapsed along with the world capitalist system, and it hasn't recovered until now. And everybody's excited that there's some recovery actually happening in Europe now after 10 years of decline, of lost production, of lost jobs, of destroyed lives. Countries like Greece, Italy, Spain, Portugal are living in a economic downturn that they're only beginning to emerge from. And I, of course, welcome that economic conditions are improving in Europe. But let's be clear. We are recovering from a system that produced 10 years lost. For people who lived through it, those are not recoverable. For people whose homes were lost, and they number in the tens of millions, they'll never recover from this. The effects of this will last lifetimes. Educations that were destroyed, governments that were destroyed, wealth of a society that was destroyed. Capitalism is a fundamentally unstable system, and we've just come through a 10-year collapse. Even if there is a recovery, what are we doing keeping a system that works like this? Are we waiting for the next calamity, the next 10-year collapse? The time to act is now. We know the system is unstable.